Welcome to Juvlon Email Marketing. This video explains how to create an email campaign. Log in to Juvlon Software. After logging on to Juvlon, go to Campaigns and click on Create New Campaign. Enter the campaign name and click on Create Campaign. Let's name this campaign Newsletter. We will now create the mailer. Enter the mailer subject line. For example, Webinar tomorrow, December 23rd. You can even personalize the subject line. You can add first name of the recipient. A by default sender ID is created once you register. You can also add different sender ID. For this, click on Select Assign Sender as per list. Go to Create New. Enter sender name and email and save. Confirm the email in specified email inbox. Add an email ID on which you want to receive reply. Let's move to the next tab, Option. Click on Show Link for Web Version. This is to see mail on web if it doesn't open in Mailbox. If you want referral option, you can click on Show Referrals link. Enter text here. Say for example, share this email with your friends. Track link is already selected. This is mandatory. Enable Google Analytics tracking. This is to enable Google Analytics tracking if you have a Google Analytics account. Mailer creation method is used to create email. Choose a template. Allows you to select the template provided by Juvlon. All these templates are customizable. You can use the blank template to send a JPEG mailer. File upload is used if you have HTML of your mailer ready with you. You simply need to browse the file. Press Create. This opens editor window where you can edit your email, upload images, hyperlink, and personalize the mailer. Once you have made the changes, press Save and Preview. Your emailer is ready. Click on Lists option. This will display Referral List, Test List, and My List. Now go to Create List option on top right side of List column. This will prompt Enter List Name. For the time being, let's call it Webinar List. Click Create button. A confirmation message, List created successfully, will appear on the screen. Go back to List options and you will find the list that we have just created at the end of selected folder. Select it webinar list. On the right hand side, the software displays all the details about this list. You can see options like add subscribers, view subscribers, search subscribers, and other options. We can also edit the already uploaded list by selecting it and appending. 
click on the button Add Subscribers. You can add a single subscriber, or 10 at a time, or the entire CSV file. We will select Add using CSV file. The next screen gives you an option to match the fields between your CSV file and Juvlon fields. The left column shows fields available in Juvlon. The right column needs to show the fields in your CSV file in the exact order as they appear from left to right. Match Juvlon fields with your CSV fields. In this example, we have added the name title at the first field in the list. We have the CSV file with first name and email ID, so we select last name and remove it. Once all fields are added, choose the file from desired location. Or, if you have an Excel file, then you can directly drag the file to the Juvlon account and press Submit. Juvlon supports only a permission-based list. The next screen asks you to confirm whether your list is a permission-based list or a third-party purchase or rented list. Once you confirm that this is a permission-based list, the software prompts the message that data will get added to the list and you will receive an email confirmation about the same. You can now use this list for scheduling email campaigns using Juvlon. We will link the mail and the list in order to do the final sending. Go to Home Page, preview the mail or the HTML, select Test Send. You get two options, Test List and or option to add the email ID. If you have added email IDs in the test list, then go ahead and select the test list. Or you can also enter email IDs by using Add New Emails for testing. Just add email IDs there. Click on Test Send. Check out mail on tested email IDs. If you need to make any changes in the email, click Select Modify and modify the mailer. If it's correct, then click on Send. Select the list, and do the final sending.